I made a video a long time ago. I'm talking, and it had to be like over a year ago. And I said, AMC potentially was a scam. I literally lost, I think, I believe it was 2,000 subscribers in a matter of a few days. I know who will forget it. Everybody was like, that's it. I never want to watch your channel again. You're a shill. Go F yourself. Sell your effing shares, you piece of garbage. I mean, I got ripped apart. Okay, but the funny thing now is what I said over a year ago, a lot of people are saying now. <laughs> so all of those people who unsubscribed to me are now agreeing with me. See, let me be clear. Donald Trump said it the best. All right, now put aside politics. Put aside politics, okay? If you're a Democrat, if you're Republican, put aside politics. He said, I care about America, meaning that's my priority. Okay, I'm not here, you know, to give money to the rest of the world, countries, all this. I care about the best interest of America. And I always loved that he said that. So let me try to reiterate what it is with me. I care about the best interest of the apes, of the retail investor. See, that's the thing. I'm not Adam Aaron. I'm not here, you know, so that AMC gets out of debt, especially using retail's money. I'm not here... So that a that AMC whatever has to do a ten for one uh, reverse uh, stock split, take ninety percent of retail's money, do whatever they have to do, give equity positions to creditors to survive to lower debt. That's not what I'm here for. It's not what I'm here for. I'm here for the apes, for the Moaz. I'm here for you. I'm here for me. I'm here for financial freedom, baby. That's what I'm here for. Okay. So the purpose of when I make these videos, I am calling out things that I feel is a threat to the Moaz. You capish. Okay. So that's the thing. And people always got angry at me for it, but not lately. Not lately. Lately, they've been agreeing with me saying, hey, father, man. You know, I, I've always been calling out everything that I feel was was rotten, starting with Lou. <laughs> you know, Lou. Oh, 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 oh! I deleted my channel. You know, I've been calling out all the bullshit. Okay, and I am not loyal to Adam Aaron. Adam Aaron is not loyal to me. Adam Aaron is not loyal to you. I'll say allegedly, but that's just my opinion. His focus and his priority is himself. And AMC, but not AMC stockholders, AMC creditors and AMC corporate. That's what he cares about. That's it. And retail to him is just another way for him, for him to be staying alive, staying alive, oh, 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 staying alive. She wants to stay alive. He wants to lower the debt of AMC. He wants to keep going. But the thing is, how is he doing it? So there's the key. How is he doing it? He's doing it using the blood. The blood of retail. That's how I feel. Sorry, I can't change my mind. So in that, you know, sense, I do feel AMC is a scam. Now, did you see what I just said? Am I calling retail a scam? No. Am I calling the Moaz a scam? Believe it or not, I don't believe it's a scam, okay? I believe that it should happen, okay, if we were in a fair Wall Street, if Gary Gensler was doing his job, if the Department of Justice was doing their job. I think, yeah, there's probably a tremendous amount of synthetics in AMC. But the thing is, again, there's a circle. I like to call it the circle of corruption. And it's just controlled by the 1%. And I put Adam Aaron in that circle. I put Gary Gensley in that circle. This is, again, you know, I say it's alleged, it's subject to my opinion. I put Ken Griffin in that circle. And the thing is, all of these people are against the Moaz. They're against retail. They're against us becoming the new 1%. You understand? So the thing is, in order for them to stay high and for us to stay low... They do a lot of trickery, a lot of fuckery, all right? And the problem is that people who are apes, I'm talking about our retail brothers and sisters, are sometimes getting brainwashed by these people 
who might be corrupting other YouTubers to push an agenda, okay? Who might be doing so many different things with media, with everybody, okay? You know, just to give a few. Trade Trades, Matt Cause. I don't want to keep, you know, mentioning people's names, but allegedly could have been hired. Again, I'm going to say it's allegedly to push an agenda. Okay, and then the problem is once the true agenda, which was AMC, Adam Aaron to make $41 million, AMC to raise $2 billion off retail, okay, in the start, then to raise 200 plus million off ape, then to raise even more and to continuously, you know, put money in their vault, to continuously lower their debt on the blood of retail, pushing a narrative. That's the scam. That's the scam. Not the Moaz, not our retail brothers and sisters. That's the scam. And it's been working. AMC under $4 a share. We're all down friggin' over 90% of our money. Well, I can't say that. I'm down over 90% of my money. Okay, I don't know what your circumstances are. Okay, holding strong. Um, you know, now they want to take 90% of our shares. And you're telling me there's, that there's nothing wrong with that? You're totally okay with that? Then you're nuts. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video and all my videos is not legal advice. I am not an attorney. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only.